Yeah, so we are close to the road here. I mean, I'm, I'm okay. We're only staying here another few days. There's not a ton of traffic, as you might imagine. I'm actually surprised at any vehicles. Now, last night had the weirdest thing. It was just about 8.15. It was dark. It actually started before it got totally dark. I was hearing car doors. And I was like, okay, maybe somebody pulled, you know, into this area here and is going to stay the night or over there and going to stay the night. So I didn't really think anything of it. We're, we're laying in there. I'm watching some Foils War on Acorn TV. And heard, uh, I'm going to guess, I heard the car doors 25 to 30 times. So I'm thinking, okay, this is just a, you know, maybe new or disorganized camper. They're forgetting things. They're going in and out of their vehicle as they set up a tent or something like that. So I'm still not thinking anything of it. And finally... You know, now it's getting totally dark. The sun has really gone over. And so I, I peek out our side door window and there's headlights. And from the headlights, I could tell that there was a car sitting right here with their headlights pointing that direction. So I'm seeing this whole area here illuminated by car headlights. And so I'm now I'm thinking, boy, they're awful close. You know, if they're going to stay the night uh why are they so close what is that what the heck is that laying over there i am almost afraid to go look what is that What in the world is that? Come here. Oh. What the hell is that? That was not there yesterday. It's a hose. It's a dump hose. What the fuck is that doing laying there? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's an RV dump hose. That was not there yesterday. So what the heck were these people doing last night? Come on. What were they doing? I'm afraid I'm gonna find a like an RV dump like they pulled in here and dump their tanks just to be awesome. Oh, that was really strange. Okay, so back to my story. So, saw the car headlights. It's now totally dark. So, a couple minutes go by. I look out again. Now there's a car sitting right here on this side. A little white, uh, like a two-door something. Lights on. And another car. See here, you can see the tracks. And another car is now pulled up beside it also engine running lights on so we're right there this is all happening right here last night then the car that was pulled up beside it takes off and the white car stays here and shuts its lights off and it's just sitting there now our rig is totally dark you know i i don't have any outside lights on the underside light would have been showing 
Um, it's a dim light, but it would have been on. Hey, okay. Sorry, you're getting a little anxious. Come on, let's go. We'll go up this way. So the white car is sitting there. So th at that point, I remembered that my side cabinet doors were ajar to let air into the inverter. Whoa! Yesterday. So I say, okay, I got to go out and shut my cabinet door. So I, I clip up lefty. We swing my side door open, which triggers my, my motion lights. And as soon as that happened, that white car fired up and took off and went hauling down the road that way. And so that was the end of the, the cars. I don't know what they were doing. My cynical past history mind goes towards drug deal and that maybe there were several cars that all pulled into this area and were doing some kind of deal. And then when they saw lights all of a sudden click on, you know, <laughs> you haul ass, right? So, so I don't know what was going on. Very strange. Okay. This was not here yesterday. Walkie talkies. It's a walkie talkie package liner. So, somebody was up in here. We walked in here yesterday afternoon at about 5.30. So that happened afterwards. So, I wonder if I'm going to find a group of people posted up here. You can see that there's a fire ring right up here. So, you, there's a lot of uh, car tracks right there. Like, maybe people are just pulling up in here and setting up a tent. There are some beautiful open areas when you walk up into the the brush here there's all of a sudden a clearing up here where i can see that a lot of people have tented so here's a big fire ring right here uh, so i don't know what was going on last night very strange do i get scared or fearful in those situations not so much um a, dog, uh, a barking dog is enough to scare a lot of people away. Uh, I do have CO2 BB pistols that could put a hurting on somebody if I wanted it to. So yeah, imagine coming up in here and popping a tent. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous place. It's just beautiful up in here. So glad I came up here. Oh, good one? He just dumped out. Gotcha! Oh. Okay. Oh, Mr. Excited. Huh. Trail, come here. Come here. Stay, stay. Hey, 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 hey. Stay right there. Stay right there. You be good boy. Okay. Be good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. He's a good boy. That's a good boy. So he, uh, you be good boy. <laughs> so happy. Oh my goodness. Not too far left. You be good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. So as long as he doesn't disappear, I'm okay with him going up and scouting around. Oh, oh, what a good boy. What a good boy. As long as he doesn't disappear. He went up, ran up there yesterday, up this direction, and was gone for probably two minutes. And I start to get a little anxious. And then all of a sudden I hear the, <laughs> and here he comes. What's a good boy. That's a good boy. He just continues to do this. He's golden. Oh, that's a good boy. What a good boy. That's my puppy. This road starts to get rough right up here. What are you sniffing? Huh? All kinds of new plants, huh? That's a good boy. That's a good boy. This road gets rough right here, unpassable at this point. 
Because yesterday, my first thought when we walked up in here, I'm like, oh, we're going to drive up in here. But <laughs> this road, just all of a sudden right here, goes to shit. What a good boy. What a good boy. What a good boy. Oh, if he stays doing this, he's such a good boy. Yes, you are. Such a good boy. I'm just overdoing it on the positive reinforcement. What a good boy. What a good boy. What a good boy. Not too far. Not too far. That's a good boy. And if I hide on him, he will come running 99% of the time. See, he's kind of waiting. I wish I could figure out the key to keeping him by my side. Oh, yeah, a little detour here. What a good boy. So this is awesome bike riding area. Last night I'm thinking, should I try getting on the bike and having him run with me while I'm on the bike? I don't know what would happen. Because if he decides to jettison, you know, I'm stuck on the bike. I can't, like, run after him. Oh, what a good boy. You found another trail? Huh. What? Ugh, you're faster than I am. You sure are. Oh, yeah, if he would just keep doing what he's doing. Hey, let's go back this way, buddy. Come on, pup. Over this way. Woo. Ooh. What is this? What is this? Huh? There he goes. So I have to think to myself, you know, sometimes I feel bad because we're cooped up in the truck and when we were suffering through those super windstorm days back in Quartzsite, spending one or two or three days kind of buttoned up in the truck, I would feel so bad for him. And I was like, gosh, am I really doing him justice, you know? Is this the best thing? I feel bad, you know, he needs to exercise and and then look at us now. Oh, what are you doing? Huh? Back this way. Oh, good boy. Oh, we're going this way. Oh, we're going this way. What is it? We're going this way. Come on, the boy. Come on, the puppy. Oh, there's a boy. There's a boy. Ah. There's a boy. I don't know. What are you doing? Are you having fun? Huh? Are you having fun? Oh. Come on, buddy. I don't know. Here we go. What? What? What's oh, a good boy? Oh, this is nice up here. I wonder when what it takes to get these creeks to get flowing. Oh. Just some awesome landscape here. Oh, there he is. There he is. You are a crazy dog. Oh, I don't know. Did you go up that hill? Oh. Oh, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. Breaking trail. That's a good boy. Uh-oh. That's a good boy. Where's my puppy? 
Where's my poppy? Where's my poppy? Where's he going? Uh-oh. I don't know. Oh, hello. That's a good boy. <laughs> Waiting on slow dad. That's a good boy. The one thing I never have been able to get him to do is when it's time to turn around and go back. Uh-uh. That's when I have to put him back on the leash, unfortunately. Yep. He's wild. Are those aloe vera plants? I think they are. Well, I don't know, but they sure look like aloe vera. This does remind me of the the uh, terrain up in Utah. Hey, buddy! I see him way out there. Come up, up! That's a boy! That's a boy! Gosh, I hope there's no mountain lions or cougars up in here. Hey! That's a boy! Having me freak out. Oh, what a good boy! What a good boy! What a good boy! What are you doing? You gonna go up the mountain? Ah! You gonna go up the mountain? Ah! 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 There he is. You breaking trail? Ah! We did this yesterday and when he got back to the truck, he was just. <laughs> Tongue hanging out the side of his mouth. Oh, what a good boy! Like he had had enough. <laughs> Actually, I had had enough just getting used to the altitude up here. And yesterday morning, I definitely was feeling it. We started hiking up a, a pretty steep slope and I had to stop. I was getting a little bit just blah feeling and not quite dizzy, but just uh, I could feel it so we cut it short and stayed on the flat ground so I wasn't exerting myself so much so and that's all I'm trying to do is just keep a really slow pace here so that I'm not exerting myself until we get acclimated we're at about 5,500 feet elevation what's up boy Where's a good boy? Where's my boy? Oh, left. There he is. What are you doing? Oh, you good boy. Oh, my goodness. Come here. I got to eat my nanner. Come on. I got to eat my nanner. Right over here, pup. Come here, buddy. I got to eat my nanner. Okay? Come here. Hey, 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 hey. Not listening. Come here, puppy. Also, go, boy. See, now he's fucking with me. Come on, buddy. Oh, my goodness. There's that snow capped mountain off in the distance. So awesome. Here we go. Here we go. Where's a good boy? <laughs> okay. Okay. Not my manner. Mm-hmm. Come here, bunny. What you doing? Oh, I had chili in the shade. Goodness. Sure is. Man, 
is ripen up too fast. I prefer kind of green tint, you know, green skin bananas. Not totally green, but come on, pop. Come here, bud. Come on. Come on, buddy. That's a good boy. Oh. Okay. That's a good boy. Yeah. Oh, what a good dog. You having fun. Mwah, you having fun. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Such a good boy. Such a good boy. Huh? That's just such a good boy. Oh, life is good. No, you stay right here. Stay, stay. Stay right here. Okay? Stay, stay right here. I gotcha. Stay, stay here. Let me get your leash. We're going to go for a walk, okay? We're going to go for a walk. All right? I know it's probably great. A lot of people have commented, let Lefty off the leash. And I do. Not very often. But I'm really glad that up here he hasn't made me regret it yet. So I'm just going to keep, I'm going to keep doing this. Same thing. And uh, hopefully we can develop some patterns so I can do it more often without without being concerned that he's going to do something wrong. Okay. There we go. What a good boy. Such a good dog. Such a good boy. Such a good boy. Took me months when I first got him to teach him how to walk next to me like this. It was a tough, hey, easy. It was tough. He pulled and pulled and pulled and pulled. And uh, I finally got him to understand that we're just trying to go for a little walk. Everybody take care. We'll see you all again really soon.